way, all right? You guys are kooks. Okay. You're crazy kooks of conspiracy theorists. Go away. Should we, so we shouldn't be allowed to be here? Um, people, this is for real conservatives, not people who are snake oil merchants and conspiracy theorists like you. Goodbye. There you go, a, uh, a rousing uh, uh, diatribe of support from Sebastian Gorka. According to him, we're not real conservatives. We are snake oil salesmen and kooks. Well, these snake oil salesmen and kooks are uh, largely the ones who got Trump elected. So while he's riding our coattails and uh, sort of, uh, you know, riding in our wake, uh, he also is trying to uh, get us kicked out of his oh-so-precious uh, conservative action conference. Now, yesterday, there was um, an incident, of course, where Owen Schroyer was kicked out of CPAC and uh, not given a reason why. I want everyone to know that CPAC is now kicking InfoWars out. I just want everyone to know CPAC is now kicking InfoWars out. God bless you guys. We love CPAC. God bless America. God bless Donald Trump. This is Harrison Smith going to a much cooler CPAC somewhere yeah. else with Gavin McGinnis. Our CPAC is cool pack. That's what the acronym stands for. Now, Sebastian Gorka... Um, applauded this, celebrated this. He was actually questioned on Twitter by C.J. Pearson saying, you know, this isn't right. Uh, why are you supporting the destruction of free speech of fellow conservatives at this conservative political action conference? And uh, S Sebastian Gorka claimed that uh, they were kicking out Holocaust deniers. Now, it's not up to him what people think or what they say. And Obviously, Owen Schroyer has never denied the Holocaust, but these are just the smears that get thrown around. They just lump anybody together. If you're not, uh, you know, 100 percent aligned with them, ideologically aligned with them in the neocon conservative Inc. mindset, you're just bad. You're a kook. You're a snake oil salesman, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These are just the smears we've come to expect. And, uh, you know, we've, we've never denied the Holocaust. We've never been anti-Semitic. And yet we'll still be smeared with that same brush because it's not about the truth. It's not about reality. It's about them having control over uh, the apparatus of control. And so we represent a threat to that. And uh, so they'll throw anything at the wall just to see what sticks. So uh, I'm going to continue to walk around uh, and talk to CPAC. And people, as you see, will reveal themselves. The mask comes off. Uh, they're not in favor of free speech. They're not in favor of true conservatism as we see it. If you're not aligned with them 100%, you're not a true conservative. It is Gorka that doesn't fit the description as a true conservative. He has now taken the role as an establishment insider and entitled gatekeeper. He is the enemy inside of the gates. Not people who are snake oil merchants and conspiracy theorists like you. Goodbye. Trump didn't divide American society. Alex Jones didn't cause our widespread and, by the way, justified distrust in institutions. The elites did that with their spectacular failures. Right. Ah, I have been uncucked. It's the total cuck cleanse. Quit being a cuck and take the total cuck cleanse. And then the cuck cleanse begins. Take back your male vitality with the total cuck cleanse. <laughs> That's right. Toxic masculinity at its finest.